and welcome to the McMuscles Midnight Massacre. Uh, I should actually give him 13 booze there. Because we yeah, watched no. 13 Ghosts. I don't know how I let today. it happen. You were like... against it from beginning to end. You were like, no, not, not to the end. You were like, no, no, I don't really want to watch it. Yeah. And then suddenly the next day you're like, yeah, I'm down to watch it. Okay, fine. And I never pushed it that hard. You did it. I don't know what came over me. I think enough people suggested it and you just kept banging on about it. So yeah, I was we had like, some friends that were like, you should do it. You should okay. Do it. As much to torture them, I guess. As, mm. um, so so why, why is that? Do you just have bad memories of this movie? Uh, I, I think I didn't remember a lot of it, but I don't yeah, remember I it being not. good. Okay, no, you know what it was? <laughs> I remember re-watching it a few years ago, thinking like, it couldn't have been that bad. Let's rewatch it, and then I rewatch it. And I'm like, "Fuck, it's bad!" And I was just wasted my time. And that anger has lingered. And so when you are all like, "Let's watch it again," I'm like, "I don't want to make the same mistake. Like, I know it's not good, mm. but not like House of the Dead." I mean, I would watch House of the Dead a thousand you times would, you over would, this movie. Um, so, Thirteen Ghosts shockingly came out in 2001. I was like, "Oh, this is like 1998, yeah. 99 at the very fucking latest." Yeah. Um. And it stars a bunch of weirdos. Who does it star? It stars Tony Shalhoub, poor Shannon Elizabeth, and Matthew Lillard. Completely forgot. Trying to grasp Shannon at that career that just kind of like. You I, know? I think he had the Scooby Doo movies later. Around then, but back, up until like they had recently. Before that. Matthew Lillard, where he's someone's dad now, like someone said. Like, and he, he's in Wing Commander. You know? And poor Shannon Elizabeth. She's one of those that's always like. Oh, it's a slow news day. What do we What do we do? Let's do a whatever happened to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And like, and it's her. Shannon she Elizabeth, that, star of whatever American happened to Pie. articles. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, peaked at American Pie or whatever. Maybe she was in some other stuff. I don't. I don't know. Like, not the greatest America. cast. If you I tried to sell me that. on a movie based on its cast, yeah. it would be this. There's, you know, The Haunting is a similar movie, but it's got, like, Catherine Zeta-Jones and Liam Neeson and Owen Wilson. Yeah. It's like, I'll, I'll go see those, but yeah. I don't care about these actors in general. And Tony Shalhoub's fine, but he's not my cup of tea, but it's, whatever. It's not that either. It's because it's, okay, average type actors, but, like, the concept of Haunted House is always good and ghosts and this and that, but it just didn't wasn't symbiotic, like, it didn't work. What do you like, mean? A house that has no walls and everyone can see you shit? Why would she's, that not work? She's so excited about that bathroom too, Makes eh? Makes no sense. She's like, this this bathroom that's all clear for when I'm put, changing my tampon. She's, she's like, my little brother see me clapping. Yeah. She's so She's happy. like, I've never seen a washroom. Anyway, we're like, getting a bit ahead of ourselves. Um, 13 Ghosts is about a crazy uh, a house that is fueled by death. Yeah, I well, there's a, the line. Well, there's always an eccentric rich man with a plan always. behind all of this, right? So what what's is his name? Serious Criticos. Criticos. Okay. Serious Malaka. Yeah, Mr. Malakas <laughs> just decided that he was had this big construction plan for this house that's gonna need thirteen types of ghosts, ghosts. like a specific kind of ghost. Like they all have. Like, which they have to cool. have died in certain ways or something. Yeah, but then it's like the juggernaut. The burnt lady. It sounds like class one. types in a video game. Yeah, kind of. Like, like the so heavy. Again, when you just hear someone describe that to you, you're like, well, that, that sounds, sounds interesting. Cool. You know, like that could be done well. Yeah, yeah. Or not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know? So I'll sadly agree with you. I still think there's some giddy fun in there because it's it's so cheesy, but it's not it's not quite the level of of House of the Dead or Samurai Cop or you can be yeah. like, haha. It's actually like pretty annoying. Because it tries to be kind of a clever Most of it. thinking man's movie, but it's really like not, so the problem is is that it's still its concept is still fun and yeah. the ghosts are still kind of fun. Like but the designs are pretty good on them, some of them. But they're very haunted housey, where they're not like modern <laughs> things where everyone's just kind of dark and yeah. their the face is obscured and they're slow moving. These are like fast video game monsters. Yeah, these are like actors that are haunt. Perfect yes. example. Like per actors that are haunt, like this is your character, you're this, you're There's that. There's a guy with so many spikes in spikes him that I'm face, like, like you couldn't, you know, you couldn't whatever. take him seriously. So like the opening, Matthew Lillard's part in all this is he's kind of like a psychic or whatever. He like can sense psychic these nerd ghosts are. So he's hired by like Mr. Extravagance, Malaka. okay, whatever, to like find help find these certain types of ghosts. But then like something goes wrong one day, and there's that girl there too, the woman. There's this uh, freedom fighter for ghosts like that's Lara like, Crossian stop slaving women. the ghosts. They have rights too. No, they fucking don't. 
they legally have no rights. Like, what when you're that? dead, that's what happens. But I mean, then what happens with the twist at the end with the reveal with her even makes less sense. Yeah, Because yeah, she's yeah, like yeah. this ghost freedom fighter, and then she's just like a slave to the D because she does, yeah. anyways, get ahead of herself, okay? He'll turn, but with that. But the opening sequence is that, and then Mr. Criticos dies in that sequence, and, right? And like the first he gets, five minutes like, decapitated, or whatever. So then so, they're like... So the house has to pass to his next of kin, which yeah. of course is Monk is Malakos. Monk Malakos. <laughs> and he, they've had a tragedy. He has a, a teenage daughter, Shannon Elizabeth, and some annoying little boy kid. Oh, and oh that was Mr. little Scoot. Matt. That was that, that boy is little Matt. He has so a little annoying. ball bearing necklace. Well, I had that necklace too. Yeah. But anyways ahead of ourselves, they had a tragedy because they lived in this nice ass house and somehow, although all part. the doors and windows were open, no, 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 there's no. an opening montage of the mom being killed in the fire and no, the no, no, no. And everything. Like, it was, it was, they're just what showing up. What was mad at? They're, you're, you're so mad because you're like, you're like, why is it, why can't no one get, escape the fire? They were just showing a camera fly by Go of around. their house and they had the memories, the audio logs Everyone's playing screaming. of that tragic day. I'm like, can someone not go get her? Like, what is she trapped behind that because, everyone else survived? Because there was no way they could have write, wrote, or shot that scene to not be what you just said. Save the mom. Why? Like, so know. they just had the audio of the tragedy playing, uh, and it was confusing at first. But that's what they were going for. Well, uh, that was she, so she got dead. so angry. She, she dead. dead, and they obviously I don't know. If the house burned down or whatever. They're in a shitty apartment. Mm -hmm. They have urban comedic relief nanny now. Yeah. Rod Digga. <laughs> so, she's a female rapper, I guess. I don't really know. Did she raps she, in the end. I hope she does like a song like LL Cool J did for Shark Deep Blue Sea. Yeah. Deepest bluest. My head is like a 13 ghost. <laughs> she raps at anyway. the end though. She has a yeah, song. Yeah, there's a rap song. In um, the you know, she's there. She's along for a ride. And one day this family just gets this pompousy lawyer to be like, hello. Mr. You know, Mr. Cyrus died, and now he's bequeathed upon you this awful fucking, house, this glass house with scripture on it. What did it say? It was Latin prayer. It was Latin. So every single seal in all the surface rooms. of every single glass pane and wall of this place has ancient Latin curses that keep the ghosts from like ghosts. Just like fuck, I can't the, the, the spell. So, How am I supposed to get through? Except for the basement where they're like trapped and there's a big ectoplasm box too. It's, it's like kind of like the Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters, but it's like a really thing. bigger box that traps them and then puts them in compartments in the basement. And they get there, they're like checking it out. And somehow the babysitter comes with them, which kind of makes no sense. Why would they bring, the, the father's already there with them. Maybe they're bringing just, the babysitter because they need the black comedy relief. Yeah, but anyways, I was like... You know what she reminds me of? Like, I'm sure, like, this is what her, what she got hired for and why she was there and why it was written. Like, she reminded me of the black girl from all the scary movies movies yeah. where she's a parody of that type of character. Yeah. And that's, like, it, for this movie in reality. Yeah. It's, it's like, kind of cringe. Yeah, but she's not too much on the screen. Like, she manages to lose the kid within five seconds, seconds. of being there. And then the other one gets lost, too. Anyways, Tony Shalhoub loses his annoying kids. Yeah. And no one really cares. Uh, she does have that great well, line care. where the slimy lawyer, he gets the first and probably one of the best moments of the movie. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just going to straight up say this. Good he kill. gets sliced in half by, uh, sliced, like, this way. Yeah. Like so, that. by the glass doors. Mm. And it's pretty gory. It looks a lot better because they did it practically, unlike Resident Evil. When people get cut up by the lasers, mm. it's really shitty CG. <laughs> They do this, and someone says, where's the lawyer? And Rod Digga, of course, says... Not what she said. It was good, though. He got... He split? He had no, to split. He had to split. So, I was like... And there was another fun. pun about the lawyer kill, but I forgot what it was. Yeah. There was a second one about him. Uh, you know what's really about, bad about this type know. of movie? Everything. Is that they have so many ghosts, but they have so few characters that can die. Because yeah. no, one, no one in the family's gonna die. They're kids. Yeah. And then there's the main dad, and you're like, I guess that guy will obviously die. And everyone that dies, dies. And you yeah. can see it a mile away. This movie would have been better if there was like, uh, I don't know, a real world type scenario. Where a they bunch of, like, like uh, Y2Kers came had to go in there. Room. And each had a room, and they all got haunted and they by all specific got ghosts. Good kills. 
Oh, and yeah. then there's the goggles. We didn't mention the goggles. Ah, uh, talk about the goggles. So there's these special, they look like clear Oakley goggles. Yeah. Okay, but they're all clear, and w with these on, you can see the ghosts. It's so bullish. Like, that's the most craziest technology ever. Okay, but you know what? They did that all, eh? And again, here I am struggling with spoilers. They did that for the big twist reveal. Mm -hmm. Where Tony Shalhoub saves the day using his amazing power of counting. Because they get to the big final scene with the circle and he realizes there's one too many ghosts. Yeah. Because it's so convoluted. He's the 13th ghost. It's a big thing, okay? It had to be him because he's mourning his wife and blah, 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 blah. And he's doing a, a little a little finger counting and then he's like, oh no! Anna, Via, Tria is counting in Greek. And then he's like, wait a minute. And then the reveal happens. And it's at the time, I think they were expecting everyone to go like, oh, oh, Dios mio. Like, because the know. Sixth Sense was a few years before this in 99. Yeah. So I think every, they're, they're always trying. every scary movie was trying to have some type of twist at Scramble this point. Scramble for that, that twist. Um, and it's not good because, not good because we all unlike, saw it coming. Unlike The Sixth Sense, we this do. is kind of played very jokey. The entire movie is, is, is trying to have fun, which I don't mind. Yeah. But don't try to have a big dramatic twist when yeah. your tone all the time has been almost Scooby-Doo levels of buffoonery. Yeah. Uh, especially with Matthew Lillard about. Oh, um, oh, and his whole drool sequence. I think, like, ever since the first screen where he just got stabbed and drooled a bunch, they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's him. That's what he gets hired That's for. his knee. She's the drooler. And I'm like, you know what? I'm enough now. Yeah. Okay? No one's interested. And then he went away for 20 years. So it's one of those things where I'm really sad it doesn't hold up. Yeah, like, I'm sad it's not good. As, like, a fun, spooky time where you can mm -hmm. just kind of laugh at it. You, there is a laugh or two, but it's mostly just kind of boring and a little cringe here and there. Mm -hmm. um, that being said, like maybe if you're drunk with a bunch of friends and it's not on Netflix, right? No, we have to like buy it. So that made me more mad. Yeah. Um, if you already have it on DVD somewhere, lying around, watch it, I guess. I guess. No, don't, don't even waste your time. No, no, I'm not, I can't even in good conscience be like, yeah, give it another shot. Cause this is twice now. Yeah. I gave it another shot. And both times I'm like, God damn it. I could have been watching this some YouTube videos. Like, like, I remember, <laughs> I remember being entertained in the theater and I watched it at least one other time okay. after that and that was the last time and I still was like oh yeah no it's it's fun it's goofy but whatever but I'm like no it's it's not it's not super it's not I wouldn't super recommend going no. back to it if you if you love 13 ghosts but haven't seen it in like 10 years leave that memory in your heart yeah don't, don't do go it. back to it it's I, fine if you've never seen it and you just want to get annoyed and like see what we're talking about then I say watch it but if you've already seen it at least once or twice don't watch it again there's some fun practical effects, but yeah. I'd say that's about it. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's 13 goes sad, but true. And the last time we're taking suggestions from you. From now on, I'm picking the movies. So you, you House said of the yes. Dead too. Here we you go. You said yes I to know, this. I know. I, I dropped it. I know. Anyway, that's know. another McMuscles Midnight Massacre, and we will see you tomorrow night. Uh, at midnight. At midnight. And please, Hopefully. please watch us in your plastic glass no walled home weirdos. Oh my god, watch, watch us before you watch 13 Ghosts. Please.